Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I'm a DIYer and also the co-owner of Studio Calm where I share my artwork with you. It is week number two in our townhouse apartment and I am in major makeover mode. Last week we got some furniture in, as you can tell by my background, it already feels so much more homey in here. But we still have a long way to go, especially since it still doesn't really feel like us right now. It feels like we kind of just threw a bunch of things together and now I just wanted to feel more like me and to make things a little bit cozier in here. Personally, I have to personalize the space, otherwise it won't really feel like mine. So today we're gonna tackle some DIYs on my to-do list. I definitely wanna make some furniture. In our previous living room, I made our coffee table. I was so proud of that project and I honestly was so sad to let go of it. I literally begged Brian to see if there was any way it would fit in our car, but Sadly, it didn't, so it didn't make it over with us. But that just means that we get the opportunity to make a new one for this space. And honestly, my previous one would have been too big for this living room anyways. I have an idea that I think will work better in this space. I also want to thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. Let me show you guys what we're working with and what I'm planning to make. In the previous video, this is kind of the layout that I landed on. And unfortunately, I can't really put this on that side like I originally wanted because we wouldn't have enough walking space over here. So now we have this little area to put our coffee table. It won't fit a standard 36 inch coffee table because there just would not be enough room to move around. So instead I wanna kind of create an oversized side table and I think we're gonna do nesting tables so that it kind of maximizes the space a little bit better. Here is my inspo. I really love the overall shape of it and the color. However, this one would just be too big for the space. So I wanna make my own DIY version. So this is what I'm building in this video and then I also also want to create a little couch sleeve on one of the arms so if you're really tight on space this is a great easy DIY to try oh I wanted to do a stained glass window with this little skinny window behind me I think all these elements are gonna look really good together so I'm gonna get started get my supplies and then get to cutting Okay, this is a reminder to everyone to make sure you check all of your wood before you purchase it because this has a little bit of a crack on this side, but luckily I can just flip it over and it'll be fine. Or I can fill up the hole as well. I really need to get a table to actually cut this down, but I'm just gonna use this piece of styrofoam and I think it should work. This board is too wide for me to cut on the miter saw, so I'm gonna use my circular saw here and basically cut out seven inch legs. I'm using my circular saw to cut three legs at eight inches each and it just makes me so happy that I'm finally getting back into making projects. It's been about a month that I've been away from working with power tools so it feels so good to get back into it. Creating pieces like this really does make it feel more like home and more like me and every day that I wake up here I look around at how empty the house is and it honestly makes me so motivated to create and I just want to take my time and enjoy these moments because I feel like like it's going to go by in a flash. So each week that I share these projects, I just want to take in the whole experience of living here and creating this home. Don't get me wrong though, there are days that I wake up and it does feel very intimidating. I've learned so much through this process and I definitely want to be transparent with you guys because the apartment is very gray and it does feel overwhelming to start these projects. When we were living in our house, I was surrounded by creative pieces all around me that I created that really helped inspire me and with this new home, it's definitely going to be a journey, but I know I just have to start somewhere and take it day by day. And I have a feeling that by the end, we are going to make this place into one of the best homes I've ever lived in. So as you can see here, I was trying to figure out where to exactly place my legs and they are basically at 120 degree angles so that it's evenly spaced out into thirds. It might be time for me to upgrade my pocket hole jig, but for now I'm working with what I got and I made two holes on each one and then secured it with glue as well as pocket hole screws. I went ahead and cut down all of my trim pieces to the same exact height as the legs and this is going to give us that fluted look. This version that I'm making is actually a little bit different than the original, but if you wanted that same exact fluted look, I would suggest using pole wrap. 
Once it was time to get these on, I glued them down first just to make sure that I had the spacing right. And I also used one of the extra pieces of trim as a spacer. And once that was all into place, I used my brand nailer, got those into place and then filled up the holes. I am totally obsessed with this shade of green. It is so gorgeous and it's called Secret Garden by Sherwin-Williams. I just went straight in with the paint for the legs, but for the top, I definitely wanna make sure that I use a primer first. And then I also sealed up everything with a coat of poly. I'm about to do a primer coat on the tabletop, but look at how cute this already looks with just the green on the bottom and the wood on the top. I really like the two different tones. So while I've been working on projects, I've actually been listening to an audiobook with Audible, which I'm a huge fan of, and I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. They always have new titles coming out and so many genres to choose from. So whatever you're into, I'm sure you will find something that you would like. I really like using Audible because it helps me reach my reading goals for the year, which I'm super close to finishing. And it also just makes the time go by so much faster, especially if I'm DIYing or if I'm cleaning around the house or need to get things done. I just pop on an audio book and I am good to go. Now that we're almost into the new season of fall and also in a new home, I've been really trying to get myself into new routines. Being in a new space has really helped me reset and create new habits and putting in an audiobook just makes it that much easier. For me, it helps me get so focused and zoned in. I get so sucked into the storyline and it just helps me focus on the story rather than the actual task that I'm doing. It definitely is a good cleaning hack if you have a bunch of chores to get done. You guys know I'm currently on the Akatar series and I am finally on the third title. Right now I'm listening to A Court of Wings and Ruin aka Aka War and this is getting really good. I'm about a third of the way through now. I'm listening to the dramatized version of it. It really sets the background. I love the background music and all the voice actors are just so good. Whenever I think about the characters in the story I just think about the voice actors now because they just really make the characters come to life. I'm definitely Definitely obsessed with this series. So if you're looking for a good fantasy series to start, I would definitely recommend Akatar. And if you want to check out Audible for yourself, make sure to use my link below or text the code TINALE30 to 500500 and you'll get your free trial. It is super easy to get started. You can download any title that you would like and just listen to it anywhere that you go. Thank you again, Audible. Now let's get back into the video. I definitely have the DIY bug right now because it feels so good to be working on a project. Last week's video, I was feeling a little bit rusty, but but now that I'm getting back into it, I am just flying by these projects. So the next one is inspired by this photo. I saw it and I thought that it was one of those couch sleeves, but it is actually a console table, which looks gorgeous. I love the color of it. I love the stripe on it. It's definitely a standout piece, but in my mind, I really thought it was one of those couch sleeves. So we are actually going to DIY this table into basically a couch sleeve arm side table thing. I've actually never had one of these, but they are so helpful, especially if you are tight on space and you don't have a place for a side table. This is a great option to set down a book or a drink without having to sacrifice any space. The workshop is still a work in progress, but here is the piece of wood that I'm using. This is 11 and a quarter inches. We can definitely make this smaller if you want. I just wanted something a little bit wider so that I could put a drink and then a book on top as well. And I just found a common board. You can definitely use a scrap piece of wood if you want. You're basically going to cut this down into three parts and the measurements will really depend on your couch.
no problem. <laughs> it's really hot in the garage, so I'm gonna work inside and I'm just using this box as our table, but I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this. I grabbed a little sample of this gorgeous wine color. It's called Divine Wine by Bear. And I'm gonna use a Sharp Lines painter tape to really get some crisp stripes on there. I've talked about this before, but I am one of those DIYers that has performance anxiety. So I like to push things off because I'm scared that it won't turn out well. But what I've learned throughout the years is starting really is the hardest part. And once you get into the groove of things, it just gives you the motivation to keep those creative juices going and forming new ideas. I can't even tell you guys how many times I've felt stuck before starting a DIY. And once you get over that hump, the nerves start to go away and you really start to have fun, which is totally what happened when I was filming this video. I am really into patterns right now, so this bold stripe is going to add a lot of interest. I've been seeing it trending so much lately, especially on walls as a nice feature. But if you wanna use it in a smaller scale, definitely try out a striped cushion or creating a small little piece of furniture like this. I can't go over this wine color because I just know that it's going to pop against my otherwise very gray home right now. Once I peeled off the tape, it was seriously so satisfying to see those crisp, clean lines. And this color was the perfect contrast against the wood. I'm taking a little break right here and I just like to sit on top of the stairs because there's nowhere else to sit up here. I'm actually about to hop on a call with YouTube. They're doing a whole presentation for DIY and home content creators. And Mr. Kate is actually gonna be on the call. Both her and Joey are gonna be on it and they're doing a Q&A panel during this presentation. And this is really cool for me because just a few years ago, I was just one of her viewers and now I'm actually a part of the DIY creator community. And it just shows how far we've come. This week actually marks our two years of becoming full-time content creators. I honestly can't believe it. And every day I wake up just feeling so grateful that this is my job. And now that we're back in California, it feels like we are exactly where we need to be. And I just wanna say thank you guys for supporting after all of these years. I truly could not do any of it without you guys. And yeah, I just wanna take a a quick second to say that I'm about to hop on the call and my goal for tonight is to start planning for the next makeover after the living room so leave your best guess below of which space we're gonna work on next something that is missing in our apartment is character and I feel like a lot of you who might be renting a space probably are dealing with the same thing and you just want to add a little bit more personality to your space we have these giant floor-to-ceiling windows which are great but my only issue is that you can see out into the street all the time Time. and I just want a little more privacy when I look outside when you're actually outside looking in you can't really see in because the windows are very really tinted but from the inside I just want a prettier view here so we're gonna add some stained glass when I was making my mood board for this space I was painting a lot of stained glass and at first I was going to DIY it and basically cut out my own little shapes but then I found this pattern which is actually exactly what I'm looking for it's a really simple design but I love all the colors that it's pulling in from the room so I'm going to try this out it should be pretty easy to do you just need some soapy water and a squeegee or a flat edge is this right um let me open this you guys I just realized that I don't have a ladder which I definitely need for this project so I'm gonna run out and grab one really quickly even though this window is pretty big this went up so easily and the key is to have a lot of water to squeegee out and I really love that more and more people just want to express themselves with color and also just add character to their homes it's making a comeback in the home world and also in the crafty DIY world. So hopefully one day I get to try making my own stained glass. But whether or not you're renting, this is a great inexpensive and easy way to get the look. 
Plus, there are so many styles to choose from, and I will link this one along with some of my other favorites below for you. My biggest goal for decorating this place is just to have fun with it and play around with colors, patterns, and styles. And for some reason, I think that renting has allowed me that freedom because the changes I'm making are less permanent. So I feel more open and experimenting with things, and if it doesn't work out, I can always change it. My style is gonna continue to evolve, and I hope you're enjoying seeing these projects come to life. Guys, I am absolutely obsessed with these DIYs. I think they came out so good and it really does cozy up the space. So I'm excited to finally bring this living room to life. Let me know which one of these projects was your favorite and also comment down below what you think I should make to go along with the coffee table. What shape should we make it and what color should we make it? I am really trying to figure that out still. So any input you guys have will be super helpful. Thank you again to Audible for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check them out with my link down below. If you'd like to see behind the scenes and more updates from me, make sure to check me out over on Instagram. I post on there every single day. That is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!